Well, it has been a hell of a week for musicians' birthdays, starting with Curtis Mayfield. Curtis Mayfield, centered around his virtuosic vocals and ornate production. Curtis Mayfield's song were, were, songs were integral to the fabric of the civil rights and black pride movements of the 60s and 70s. His massively successful soundtrack to Superfly, with its blunt social commentary, set the film apart from its genre. Here's a tune from his solo debut, Curtis, entitled Move On Up. Classic Curtis, but Kentuckians might also recognize it from Louisville's own My Morning Jackets live cover versions. Shall we? Mayfield, y'all. Yeah. Happy birthday, Curtis. Hey, you know who else's birthday it is, quite literally today, is Sarah Watkins. Yeah. It is Sarah Watkins' birthday at this moment. This very moment. And, and I decided uh, to start a brand new Live From Here tradition. Uh, it is as follows. If you are on the show, and it's your actual birthday, for your birthday tribute, you get to do whatever you want in the wide, wide world of music. So, Sarah Watkins, what'll it be? All right, well, I, I wanted to do something that, that I, I couldn't do at my shows, or, or any other show that I'm a part of. And, uh, and then I roped in uh, Serena Brooke, and Brittany Haas, and Holly Laurent, and, uh, and, and we're, gonna, we're gonna do it for you guys. When I'm with her, I'm confused, out of focus and bemused, and I never know exactly where I am. <laughs> Unpredictable this weather. She's as flighty as a feather. She's a darling. She's a demon. She's a lamb. She'd outpester any pest, drive a hornet from its nest. She could throw a whirling dervish out of world. She is gentle. She is wise. She's a riddle. She's a child. She's a headache. She's an angel. She's a girl. How do you solve a problem like Maria? How do you catch a cloud and pin it down? How do you find a word that means Maria? A flipper did you it, will of the wisp, a cloud. Many a thing you know you'd like to tell her. Many a thing she ought to understand. But how do you make her stay and listen to all you say?
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sarah Watkins. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Which brings us to one of the hardest birthday tributes I've ever had to pay someone to write for me. How do you capture in like three sentences the impact of an artist like Lori Anderson? Lori Anderson. I mean, she invented a violin that could accompany her playing on that same violin while she wore ice skates frozen into blocks of ice and performed until said ice melted. That was in 1974. What were you doing in 1974? Over the next 45 years, she's been influential as a musician, poet, performance artist, designer, filmmaker, inventor, the list goes on and on, but we're almost out of sentences allotted. Lori is also my label mate. I met her once, I bet she doesn't remember, but I was mesmerized by her the entire time and all we talked about was food. Here's only an expert from Lori's eighth studio album, Homeland. <laughs> deal with the problem, because half the problem is seeing the problem. And only an expert can deal with the problem. Only an expert can deal with the problem. So if there's no expert dealing with the problem, it's really actually twice the problem. Because only an expert can deal with the problem. Only an expert can deal with the problem. In America, we like solutions. We like solutions to problems. And there's so many companies that offer solutions. Companies with names like the pet solution, the hair solution, the debt solution, the world solution, the sushi solution. Companies with experts ready to solve these problems. Because only an expert can see there's a problem. And only an expert can deal with a problem. And only an expert can deal with a problem. Sometimes experts lend you money. And sometimes they lend you lots of money. And sometimes when the subprime mortgages collapse and the banks close and businesses fail and crisis spreads around the world, sometimes other experts say, just because all the markets crashed doesn't mean we necessarily did a bad thing. And other experts say, just because all your friends are fired and your family's broke and we didn't see it coming doesn't mean that we were wrong. And just because you lost your job and your house and all your savings doesn't mean that we don't have to pay for the bailout. For the traders and the bankers and the speculators. Because only an expert can design a bailout and only an expert can expect a bailout. Only an expert can deal with the problem and only an expert can deal with the problem. Only an expert can deal with the problem. One more time for Sarah Watkins. <laughs> Wishing her fellow birthday week mate, Lori Anderson, a happy birthday. And we'll polish off this birthday segment with a musician who has been as influential as any other to a whole lot of people on this stage. I'm talking about Tony Rice. Tony Rice. <laughs> Tony's birthday week. Happy birthday, buddy. Amongst many other musical contributions, Tony helped change the bluegrass game with J.D. Crow and the New South during their now legendary 1970s residency at the Red Slipper Lounge at the Holiday Inn North in Lexington, Kentucky. Did anyone go? Did anyone here ever go? Oh, I hope that woo was sincere. And let's talk about it afterwards. It's one of the things I wish I had heard. Their 1975 self-titled album redefined bluegrass for a whole new generation of players, myself included. Here's a tune every bluegrass musician learns from that record, The Old Home Place. <laughs> Fox 
That's Noam Pekelny on the banjo, Brittany Haas on the fiddle, Mike Elizondo on the bass, Sal Watkins singing that Ricky Skaggs harmony there. Happy birthday, all you fabulous musicians, 